easy way to calculate the cutting speed on the shaper. It's well known that on uh, milling machines and lathes it's very easy to calculate the cutting speed. On the shaper is a little bit different. Let me explain. If we take the cutting speed V if we oh, it's okay. If we take the cutting speed V for the metric guys, V is of course in meters per minute. For the imperial guys, I think it's feet per minute. I'm not sure, but you will figure it out. Uh, I will do it in metric. The system is the same, but I'm more home in metric systems than imperial systems. But if you see it in metric or imperial, the cutting speed is the same. It doesn't change, it's just the name that changes. That's not a problem. Cutting speed. The cutting speed equals the length and this length is of course the length of the workpiece plus the little voids before and after the cut is the total stroke length and we have to take care to count also the backstroke so total length two times and this we do times the strokes per minute of course metric minutes and strokes per minute imperial exactly the same if we calculate this it gives us the cutting speed in millimeters per minute so, if you want it in meters per minute, divided by 1000, metric of course, gives us meters per minute. Now, it is well known that the shaper, the cutting stroke is slower than the backstroke. So the cutting speed is not the same on the cutting stroke than the backstroke. But to explain this more clear, I'm gonna build a shape. With this thing it will be quickly more clear or uh, whatever. Of course here we have the shaper with the bull gear. Bull gear. Fixed to the bull gear is a crank pin and the crank pin of course moves the rocker arm. Rough, let's grab. And up here is the ram with of course the cutting tool when we turn the bull gear end of stroke ram doesn't move anymore we see that this line is not horizontal turn the back stroke end of the back stroke this line is not horizontal which means that the cutting stroke is slower than the backstroke. Now, depending on what kind of shaper you have, this pivot point is higher or lower. If you change the position of the crank pin here, you change the length of stroke, 
this angle between these two lines is changing too. Now to make it easy, I count one third, means two thirds rotation is a cutting stroke and one third is a back stroke. So to make the same distance, distance, the ram moves quicker on the backstroke. Let's put all this on a timeline because I see that you... Okay, move aside ram. Time. We start zero. The Cutting time, two-thirds, backstroke, one-third. This is the part we're interested in. The cutting speed, the backstroke, is not important. Now, all this blah blah you can forget about. Let's make the easy calculations. We take this away, and then you will see that... What the... F Shit! Okay, plan B. Magnets. Okay. If we start from the idea that my workpiece is 80 millimeters, I need bigger magnets. Okay, 80 millimeters. To this 80, we count 15 before the tool starts to cut. 15. And 5 after the cut. 5. Total length of stroke 100. I like these round numbers, that's why I took this one. Okay, imagine my machine is turning at one stroke a minute. One. It means that two thirds in 40 seconds we have the cutting stroke and 20 seconds the back stroke. One third, two thirds, yeah, okay. So uh, we said 40 seconds. We do 100 millimeters, not complicated. In one second, a second, we do 100 divided by 40. Yeah? We go back to school. Huh? In 60 seconds, one minute. 60 seconds we do 100 times 60 divided by 40 gives us a cutting speed of 150 millimeters per minute we don't want one stroke a minute, but we do 60 strokes a minute. 100 times 60 times 60 divided by 40 gives us 9000 millimeters per minute. 9000 of course, 9 meters per minute. This is an actual cutting speed on the cutting stroke. What you calculate with this first one is the average speed, the total. This one will give you 12 meters per minute. It's not exact. Cutting speed, 9 meters per minute. Now that we calculated the cutting speed for 60 strokes a minute and 100 millimeter workpiece we can make a graphic 
It's always easy to have. I will show you. You can take this one off and a small one off. Magnets. If we say that in this graphic this line is the length of stroke L, yeah, this line will be the cutting speed V, V cutting speed. We can make divisions, for example, the L length of the stroke yeah, workpiece plus is 20. 40, 60, 80, 100. The cutting speeds, if we divide by, let's say, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We calculated on our paperwork here and all this uh, blah blah that the stroke length 100 and a cutting speed of 60 gave us 9 meters per minute 10 just like that, that. 9 meters a minute that's all we need to do we never calculate again because for a length of stroke of 120, 140, we know that the cutting speed is about 13 meters per minute. If you have a shaper that can do 100 strokes a minute, what is done? The cutting speed I calculated is 15 meters per minute for 100 millimeter workpiece. So we mark this one is 60 strokes a minute, this one is 100 strokes a minute. Now, go in the workshop, check your shaper, look what speeds has you have on this machine and make one of these and now you're gonna ask me yes it's good but what if i don't have a shaper now there's a problem with the electricity we have a power breakdown, I don't know what's happening.